Hey, Dr. Josh here. In this video, in this masterclass, I'm going to teach you a little bit about detoxification. I'm not going to get lost in the weeds, but I want to teach you about how to detoxify your body. And so we have a specific system for that, but I'm also, I just want to teach you the basics and how to really understand and go about uh, detoxification correctly because it's, it's a necessary process for the body. To, and, and we don't have anything out there that's just going to detoxify for us. Like we have inborn natural mechanisms that are designed to detoxify our body. We just need to help those along and make sure that we clear the pathways and correct the pathways in order for those to happen. We do that through nutrition and we do that through supplementation, very specific supplementation. So before I get into exactly how you do that, I want to talk about the three reasons why and what, where we want to go with detoxification in this metabolic reboot process. So first and foremost, we want to upregulate the liver. Now, our liver is an organ that sits right here in our body, and it is the detoxifier of our body. Okay, And if the liver fails, right, we are in bad shape. And there's ways that we can see if there's stress in the liver, which is you know your AST and your ALT on your on your uh, on your blood chemistry on your on your blood labs as well as GGT so these are different enzymes that would show liver stress uh, we can look at cholesterol and no, don't get carried away with cholesterol right now being like oh it's well over 200 i've got cholesterol problems you know we want to look at we want to look at ratios correctly and we'll save that for another video but we want to look at um, total cholesterol uh, to triglycerides. We want to look at LDLs to HDLs. So we want to look at different components of our cholesterol to see, because that can indicate some liver stress too. And there's another whole bunch of different other ones that could give us an idea on our, on our, on our labs, uh, especially our blood, that could give us an idea of we're, if we're housing liver stress. Now that's not going to specifically tell you how to correct it and what to do, but it can give you an idea like it's a possibility that turns into a probably that's probably your liver. And so we want to use detoxification processes to clear out the liver, to heal the liver in order for our detoxification to, uh, system to work correctly. And so in this process, we want to upregulate liver function. We want to decrease the antigenic load. Now, what does that mean? If we are housing a whole lot of toxins, okay? So toxins in our body come in the form of, they can come in the form of metals, okay? Volatile organic compounds, plastics, biotoxins, you name it. Our environment is filled with toxins. Our lifestyle is filled with ingesting and being exposed to a massive amount of toxins, okay? That is an increase on the antigenic load or the pathologic load. So the higher the load, the pathogenic or antigenic load on our body, the more our immune system has to attend to and deal with these things, okay? And so think of this, if we have a high toxic load, because we eat like crap, we're breathing in VOCs, we're working with pesticides, okay? We're just delivering a massive amount of toxins to our body and our immune system has a lot to work with. Guess what? That's gonna decrease the reserves and it's gonna decrease the capacity to deal with things that come in at us, i.e. viruses, right? That's the big one. So we're going to talk about how to decrease the antigenic load. The third one here is balance immunity. And so when we decrease the antigenic load, we have an immune system that is available to work against other bigger threats against our survival and our health. So how do we do this? All right, so let's go through this. First and foremost, upregulating the liver. So the detoxification process in our body goes through four phases. We're gonna go phase zero, phase one, phase two, and phase three. So that's four phases. And these four phases have to happen, all four of them, in order to actually expel a toxin that is being uh, um, uh, identified and um, the body wants to get rid of it. So phase zero right here, phase zero is mobilization. So we have to break down, we have to get the toxin, we have to rattle it out of where it's at, and we have to get it then into a cell. So we have to mobilize the toxin, then we have to get this into a cell. So we're gonna invite it into the cell, 
right here. So we're going to invite the toxic into the cell. All right. And then we're going to put a name tag on it. All right. So we're going to attach it to something so we can label it a toxin. So that's in the cell. Now I'm going to pause right there. Why? Because there's a lot of great expensive big box, 10 day, 28 day detox systems that do an exceptional job to mobilize the toxin and get the toxin into the cell, right? And so you can spend six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars on a 10 day detox that bombards you so fast and so hard that this process happens right here. But guess what? When that tox, that detox process is done, this toxin is just let back out into the body. So you're, you're feeling great for, for, for a 10 days, a month, maybe two months after that. And then when the toxins released back in the body because it wasn't eliminated, now you feel right back to where you were. You feel like crap. You're starting to gain weight again. You're sleeping like crap. Your energy goes down. Your brain is foggy. There's so many different things that once these toxins are re-expelled back into the body, all these things can happen. So there's four phases. We've got to mobilize. Then we've got to invite it into the cell and we've got to give it a name tag, which is conjugate. So we have to convert toxins, which are fat soluble, into water solubility so they can be excreted. And then we have to eliminate them and we have to have the processes available and the helpers available to ultimately eliminate these toxins. Now, our toxins leave, anything leaves our body through urine, stool, and then tertiary or third is our sweat. Okay, so we want to get into a process here where we are upregulating the liver process. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there are very specific supplements. There's very specific studied supplements that are designed to help us. And there's one of two ways to do this. So we, when we, any time that we're going to de detoxify, we're going to go through all four phases right there. We don't want to miss one. There's either a very specific detox maybe we found that you are housing a high level of metals maybe aluminum mercury lead whatever the case may be right there so there's a specific i should say specific toxin right there there's a specific toxin so that's going to be a specific detox pattern right or there's going to be a very generalized and the generalized is going to be very uh it's going to be very gentle all right, and so this is generalized and be, be general. So we're going to be using a blend of materials that are going to help with this. And you can find these in, we use a specifically, we use a, uh, within our QRS system, we're using specifically a, um, a quicksilver detoxification process that's going to be more generalized, going to be more gentle to the body that is just going to help the, the liver do that phase zero through three correctly. Okay, so when we're upregulating the liver, we want to make sure that we are making sure that the pathways are correctly, that the, that the toxins are being mobilized, that they're being conjugated, and then ultimately, once they connect to bile and dump down into the intestinal system, that they're picked up by some sort of binder that is going to help eliminate them. All right, so that's a little bit of the how you're going to get to there. Now, specifically, Nutritionally, let's talk about that because that type of situation is going to help decrease the antigenic load. So we're going to be able to decrease our pathogens. We're going to be able to decrease our toxins from that generalized standpoint so we can decrease the, the antigenic load and then ultimately improve the balance of the immune system, right? So nutrition-wise, okay? Nutrition-wise, So the foods that we eat, first and foremost, we want to get rid of and we want to ruthlessly purge the amount of toxins that we put in our body. And I'm going to give you the four biggest toxic offenders, okay? Number one, grains. All right, grains are, they're digestively devastating, okay? They create toxicity in our body because our body doesn't have the ability to break these things down, these grains, and they can wreak havoc on our intestinal system and allow toxicity uh, to increase toxins to get into our system, um, wreak havoc on the immune system and create the inflammatory process. So grains, number one, are the highest toxic offenders in our diet. Okay. 
Number two is going to be, let's go with lectins. So lectins, if you've never heard of a lectin, a lectin is a component of the seeds of nightshade vegetables, seeds, uh, legumes, so peanuts, soybeans, those type of, uh, those legumes that are, that are grown from the ground, all right? And then number three here is going to be vegetable oils. So we're looking at corn oil, we're looking at canola oil, we're looking at safflower oil, we're looking at vegetable oil. These are all, these right here, this is just the squeezed seeds of these grains. So it's a seed that's squeezed, like lectins, they're a grain, and they're high in, for another thing, omega-6s, so they're pro-inflammatory. All right, so that creates toxicity and it, and it creates systematic stress. And then number four goes without saying is sugar, okay? Sh table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, which is a major offender and a major promoter of dis inflammatory disease processes. So those are the those are the highest toxic offenders, right? So we want to reduce the toxic load that the liver has to go through. So that's number one right there. Okay, and so we want to do that. We want to, we, and then we want to eat for energy. That's going to be for a whole nother uh, uh, module right there, eating for energy and how you structure your eating patterns for that. But then number two is taking specific supplements. And you know what? We d you really don't need to run out and buy a seven or eight hundred dollar detoxification system that only lasts ten days. Okay, so we want to put some some. Uh, upregulated uh, materials in our body to help the liver, help the kidneys, help your cells produce that phase zero through four detoxification process. And really what happens after that is you're going to decrease the antigenic load and you're going to balance the immune system. So let me talk about, let me close this one on talking a little bit about how this is going to help primarily with um, creating immune resilience. Nobody out there our big pharma, our, uh, our, our health authorities, uh, our media <laughs> uh, are talking about how to protect the host. Everybody's, uh, we're going to wait for the vaccine and we got to keep our doors closed and we have to um, social distance and we have to wear our masks. So nobody's talking about how to protect the host. Now, and I'm not taking away from the second one that how people are structuring, well, you gotta have your vitamin C, you gotta have your vitamin D, you gotta have your vitamin A, you gotta have your black elderberry, you have to have these supplements, okay? And then once you take those, you're gonna increase your immunity, right? Well, here it goes. I know that everybody that's been anti-supplements are taking anti-supplements on because I know all the vendors that I have are either in low supply or no supply for these raw materials to make their supplements that I work with and I've been giving my patients for years and years and years. All right, so I know everybody's out there running and gobbling up and buying supplements. Now, here's, here it goes, all right? We have a body of our authorities that are not telling us what to do for ourselves to keep ourselves well, okay? We now we have another body of authorities that are telling us to take all these supplements, right? But nobody is starting with a process of being able to decrease the antigenic load, all right? So these supplements, your zinc, your vitamin, your fat soluble vitamins, some of these other ones that have uh, extremely good research behind uh, supporting your upper respiratory system and the effectiveness in your immune system. But if your immune system is too busy dealing with the toxic overload that you have in your body, I don't care how much supplementation you, you use, it's not going to decrease the antigenic load. And the antigenic load needs to be decreased before these supplements work correctly. So if you're listening to this and you haven't tuned out yet, my first and foremost process in this quarantine reset system, in this metabolic reboot, is to gently detoxify your body. So we decrease the antigenic load so your body has an immune resource that can go after and decrease viral replication. It's that simple, all right? So if you're not doing this or you haven't gone through a process of being able to detox yourself, I urge you to get into a detoxification process. That's why I built the system that we have because it is the most efficient way for someone who is relatively well, it's the most efficient way to get yourself to decrease your antigenic load so the supplements can do their job when you do put them in. And that's how it works.
All right, so detoxification is done. Uh, I'm gonna close it out right there and uh, I'll see you in the next masterclass.